what's happening everybody i'm in the land of south georgia and we might you know wrestle some alligators catch some snakes who knows what's going to happen <laughs> i'm down here with blake and um it's it's about five hours from my house down here and he invited me down we, we started talking about a year ago and we finally worked it out we can get down here we're gonna get down here and we're gonna go to this uh creek his channel name is g2go i'll put all the information in there but um yeah he hooked me up with some good spots and we're gonna hopefully do uh fish a few make a few videos and fish a few places Oh, he hit at it. <laughs> it's real little. Tug, tug, tug. All right, we've been changing up lures, trying stuff out. Been out here at least over an hour and a half. Still, neither one of us has got a single fish yet. Had a couple little bites and that's it. So, all right, we gotta change that around. Oh man, we finally got one. Or Blake finally got one. Our first fish. It's been almost two hours. Look at that bass though. Yeah. Look at that. Something's already hit him. Right I've never there. seen one. That, that colors on that thing looks yeah, totally different. Real dark. is dark water. A little fat thing, man. Yeah. Um, first fish of the day. They just ain't been biting. Nah. They ain't biting good. I don't know if it's all this fresh rain. I don't know. Did that one just hammer it? Just hit it? He just nailed it. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Nice. Little fat thing, man. Yeah. There we go. Come on. Come on. I just need to get one fish in here. <laughs> Don't come off. We were just talking about not catching stuff out of here. Yeah, that's really good. Look at that. Woo! Yes, <laughs> finally got one. Yeah, we've definitely worked for it. Oh, he's about to come off. I've been switching up lures, changing all kinds of things. Uh, man, feels good just to get that guy in. Blake finally caught a couple here just recently, so we've caught all three of the all, th all three of our fish in like 30 minutes yeah, stretch. Right. All right, I'm happy with that. Look at the color on that fish. It, it looks really cool. They're definitely, definitely, ooh. Oh, big gar right there in front of me. Just hit. But um, that's a pretty fish. All right, hopefully we can get a few more to go. Man, it felt good to get a fish. I'm happy now. Just glad I got something after going that long. I like uh, I like I love the diversity um, going different places, and a lot of the people that um, that watch lo like seeing different things too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of them, you know, obviously, if a lot of times I'll go to those mountain streams and they're like, oh, that's you know, so awesome. But a lot of people have never seen this kind of places or like they, they live in that that area. And I try to I try to think of it a lot as well, of course it is a lot of this first new to me. So I, I try to think of it a lot of times as new to other people yeah. like try to show a little bit of our surroundings Ooh. didn't get too wet Well, we didn't uh, set the world on fire catching fish, but I, I was glad I at least got one. And uh, Blake ended up getting, uh, I think, three three nice little bass. And uh, they just they just not were definitely not hitting. And there's a lot of red breasts in there just weren't hitting. But it was really cool seeing the area, seeing the difference in the the way the creek is and the water is. The the whole bottom was just sand. 
So walking around was just, everything was sand and just these big old sand banks, a bunch of logs and stuff in there. Of course, walking through is, is weird because you can't see how deep it is. So it's a little bit weird, but you know, you're just walking and seeing how far it goes and uh, logs or whatever in there. I saw a bunch of gar and some other stuff, but that was, it was definitely fun to get out there for about, about three hours probably fishing and wading that creek. But um, they got a place for me to stay here. So he hooked me up with a spot to stay here on their, their farm they got. And we're about to go get some uh, deer burgers. So uh, I'm ready to go get those. Well, this is it. Time to actually catch some fish today. Uh, uh, me and Blake, we've uh, we fished a couple times. We fished a creek, and we've really struggled. We fished the ocean. We did really good. Our fish, you know, in in uh, inshore. But we are now at some farm ponds that got some big bass, and we're going for them. So we're gonna try to stay with top water and um, try to get on some bass. Legs in here. Okay. Oh, it's on. All right, I got some top water stuff. It's my first time being down in one of these kind of kayaks, so I'm a lot lower than my normal one. But I think I can still catch some fish out of it. Already had a hit. I just let it sit there and fish hit it. I wasn't ready for it though. Fish on. Oh, on the whopper plubber. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to use this kayak also, pull them into the grass. Uh, no giant, but I already won in the boat. We're almost, haven't got it in here yet. I'm trying to figure this out. There we go. That's about a pound large mass. Got the smaller, I can't remember what size water plopper that is. But one bass. <laughs> oh, I see some other ones. I think this is about the size of the ones that were hitting at it. Uh, at my other one, probably I couldn't get it all the way in. But all right, well that's not a bad little start. Alrighty. There's one. Just sucked it under. Oh man! I hooked him in the. He swiped that and got hooked in the head. Second bass. Same size. Oh, yeah, hit it right off the bank. This little kayak gets pulled around so easy. It's so lightweight, I'm not used to it. Uh, every, every fish I hook and even where I cast, my kayak just starts going that way. A little, little large mouth, I was right off the bank there. Go. Match that thing. Well, I'm not exactly catching giants, but we're not catching fish. This one here really exploded on it. This is the most explosive one I've had. Came up and it's the biggest one. He's um he maybe a little over a pound, but right around that same. All all his fish been about the same area, but I know that there's some big ones in here. But those are always take a little bit of fishing, but that's not a bad little guy right there. Only been out for about 40 minutes, so. Alright, fish number four. 
All of them on the walk lever. There we go. That one took off a bit. And still, still about the same size. We'll take number five. I saw something else chasing something and then this one came from a different area so um, there's another there's probably a couple of them in here chasing some other fish but um, they're all been about the same size but they're, they're hitting pretty good and putting up a bit of a fight so let's see if we can get the other one that's in there I turn my other camera off. Get another one. So this is a uh, this is the biggest pond they have. There's it's a big farm here, family owned, and um, you know how these farm ponds are. A lot of times they get you know a ton of these little bass in there. And um, you know they're not managed for trophy fish, but I've they got some fish mounted from out of these ponds that are um, eight nine pounds and bigger I think. And there was one one kid caught a seven pounder out of one of these ponds. So these ponds can hold really big fish, but most times it's gonna have a ton of these. But I think this is my seventh bass already in like an hour or something like that. So that's not too bad. Yes. Finally got one on the frog. Oh, don't come off. He smacked that frog. Had a couple bites earlier on it, but they didn't get it. Another one about this size, but he uh there was no doubt he was taking that frog. Oh, like my eighth fish and my first frog fish. Uh, there's uh definitely a bunch of this size, but it keeps it interesting. This part back here is a little bit shallower, and I was, I was using the uh, water flopper, but I kept getting tangled up with weeds. So I went back to the frog, and uh, these are these two caught pretty quick. Got the sun in the background there, probably, but another one about the same size. Well, I'm not in South Georgia anymore, but I didn't end this video out. I just got to thank uh, Blake and his family so much for inviting me down. Had a great time. They fed me well. Thanks, definitely thanks to Big Daddy and Big Mama. Uh, that, they were so uh, hospitable. And uh, I had a fun time exploring that dark water, wading through it. I probably would never would have waded in that water if I hadn't seen him wade in at first. So when I saw him wade through, I'm like, well, I guess I got to do it. I mean, can't be, can't be scared. So um, that was definitely interesting. I mean, there could be alligators going through the area, but really not, not there's probably not much in there, but I mean, there's, there is the chance. So, um, but uh, that really not, a lot of those people really aren't worried about that kind of stuff, but the fishing was kind of off. It was really odd, but that's how fishing goes. You never know how it is. It's always fun to explore a new place, no matter if I'm catching fish or not, but thanks so much for uh, Blake and uh, all the help it and um, putting me up down there and everything. Had a blast. Uh, be sure and go check out his channel and thanks so much for watching.